Sam, we're getting closer to the end of uh, Oshkosh 2023, my 50th Oshkosh, so I'm just having a ball this year with between what I'm seeing and what I'm remembering. But speaking of memories, uh, commemorating a unique and not necessarily popular <laughs> aircraft or one that many people know, the P-36, is pretty a pretty interesting topic. Now, you've been flying this bird for a while and so forth. What's the state of the program? So the state of the program is we're getting ready for our beta kits to go out. Um, we've been doing some test flying with this, and we realized right off the bat that we had to add uh, some flaps to her to t tame the approach speeds. And so we're ready to roll with flight testing with those. We also added the Oleo landing gear. They were a spring style, which was a temporary thing for the prototype, but we've upgraded those so I'm really anxious it's taxiing really well but we're ready to fly so getting right into flight testing right after the show what's the production plan look like so the production plan right now is we're talking to a couple of different manufacturers that have capacity with their facilities and their people and you're gonna be surprised at the high level quality you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with who that is we can't announce it quite yet we're real happy about the way the plane's flying. There's a couple little tweaks we're going to do. The kits are going to be much sweeter flying plane. Uh, and this flies really sweet, but it's a little slow. So uh, retracts, we're finding that an adjustable pitch propeller is almost a requirement with this kind of an airplane. And uh, we're working with a couple of manufacturers for those as well to figure out who's going to have the best deal and the best prop for the plane. Do you have an estimate on pricing yet? It's months, months out before we'll really know. We're guessing on 45, plus or minus. If I can go lower, I will. But uh, chances are, with everything going up in price, shipping, and whatnot, it's going to be 45 to 50, likely. How happy if you've been with the Werner Radial? Extremely happy with the Werner Radials. They're very reliable. The, the secret with them is everybody's installation, because we're all home builders. We do everything our way. The secret's been keeping them cool because everybody baffles them slightly different or whatever. We're working through it with the Facebook group and everybody's sharing information and uh, we're getting our engines running really, really well and everybody's happy. Well, we appreciate your time. We're looking forward to seeing this bird in the air and more important, the invite to come out and fly this baby around and scare a few people. Sure. This is a demonstrator of our new AVHSI accessory for the AV30. The AVHSI adds precision vertical and lateral guidance, allowing the AV30 to be used to fly instrument approaches, both ILS and GPS approaches, down to LPV minimums. The AVHSI is compatible with all the leading GPS on the market. It's an Avidyne IFD 540, a little work with all the Garmin series as well.